guys welcome back to my channel so today i've got a very exciting announcement because i'll be announcing the next books for the i should have read that book club which is hosted by myself charlotte from coiny reads and karis from karis's corner so if you haven't heard of the book club before it's called the i should have read that book club because it's based around books that are popular on booktube and are also classics so really I should have really read them by now and maybe you guys should have read them too. So we alternate between months, so we read a hyped booktube book one month and then the next month we read a classic um, or modern classic, you know, a book that's been out for a really long time that, you know, we should have read. So far I've really enjoyed the books we've read already, so we've read Queenie, Pride and Prejudice and this month we're reading The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller, but today I will be announcing the books we plan to read in the months of November and December and then towards the end of the year we will be announcing the three books, I think, two or three books that we'll be reading in the new year because yes we have planned ahead and we have got a list of the books we plan to read um, next year as well. But today we're just announcing, like I said, November and December's books. So without further ado, I am going to just get straight into it and let you know the book for November is going to be The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. And I am so excited about this because it is going to be um, our classic, obviously, because November is going to be the classic pick. And this is a very popular classic that a lot of people have read and this one for me will be a reread because I have read it but since finishing it, um, I think I read it last year, I wanted to reread it. I finished the book and I immediately wanted to reread it because I feel like it's one you could get a lot out of during a reread. So very excited that this is going to be my first reread for the book club. I do believe Charlotte will also be rereading this but it will be Karis's, um first time reading this book but we thought it'd be perfect for autumn, it's a bit spooky, it's um, a well-loved classic and if you haven't read this one yet I would highly recommend you join us for the book club and read it with us in November because it is so good. And if you didn't know what The Picture of Dorian Gray is about, essentially it follows our protagonist Dorian Gray who um, is very self-obsessed um, loves himself quite a lot and he gets a friend to paint a portrait of him um, and then from then on things just sort of like spiral and the portrait ages instead of Dorian. Um, there's a lot of like magical realism, there's a lot of themes to do with life, youth, friendship, love, relationship, self-obsession, there's just so many great themes in this book. Um, the writing is spectacular and it's got one of the best endings of a book ever. So if that hasn't grabbed you, then I don't know what will. And in December, we will be reading a much loved book on booktube, and that is The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V.E. Schwab. Now, if I don't read Vicious before then, which I probably won't, um, The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue will be my first V.E. Schwab book. Um, People absolutely love her books, so I'm very excited to give it a go, especially this one because so many people love it. Um, booktubers whose tastes are very similar to mine have also loved this book, so that kind of gets me a bit excited about reading it. Um, and November and December's book picks were picked by Charlotte from Queenie Reads, um, and this again will be a reread for her because it was one of her favourite books of last year. So I don't know much about the synopsis of Addie LaRue but I do know it follows Addie who every day she wakes up and the world forgets who she is. So she can live one day and get to know people really well and then the next day no one remembers who she is. Um, and yeah that sounds particularly interesting. It's quite a big book um, but I'm just so excited to give it a go. So those are the books we'll be reading in November and December for the I Should Have Read That Book Club. I'm going to leave all of the information down below um, in terms of our social media so that you guys can keep us up to date if you're following along with us. So we have got a Twitter, we have got an Instagram and like I said I'm going to link those in the description box and you should definitely go and give us a follow. I've also linked in the description box a playlist with all of the videos to do with the book club that includes our announcement videos, our announcements for the books and all of our live shows where we discuss the book at the end of the month which I've also been really enjoying. The live shows are one of my favourite parts about the book club because you don't get to discuss books 
so much in depth very often and it's like become one of my favourite things to do each month. So if you like lengthy book discussions on some of your favourite books, again I'd recommend you go and check those out. But thank you guys so much for watching and we hope to see you following along with our book club and I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye! We have to wait for the plane to go because the planes are really loud. We have to wait for the planes to go.